Mmm, I can't wait to eat my food. Wow, it looks so good. Oh. Whoops. Mmm, the floor doesn't look very clean. Mmm, maybe I should rinse it off. What do you think? Yeah, I should probably rinse it off before I eat my food. Cool. So let's go over here to the sink and uh, just rinse it off a little bit, okay? Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. All right, now I'm ready to eat. Do you know what rinse off means? Rinse off, that's a phrasal verb. It's a very, it's a very useful phrasal verb in English. Okay, um, now if you are a beginner student or an intermediate English learner, you know, you probably would use the word wash, right? Oh, I need to wash the fork. Wash the fork, right? Well, you could use that, but there's a more specific word that's better in this situation, right? Because the fork is clean, right? It looks clean, you know, there's no food on it or anything. So I don't really need to wash it, but it, it fell onto the ground and, you know, I just want to wash the germs off. So I will just rinse it, okay? To rinse means to wash with water only, no soap, okay? So take a look at this. See, I just, I just rinsed it off, right? I didn't use any soap. Usually when we use the word wash, especially with dishes, we, you know, we, it means you use soap, probably means you use some soap and maybe a cloth, right? Maybe a washcloth to, uh, you know, just to wash your dishes. Um, but in this case, I don't really need to use soap. I mean, I could, I could wash it, but, uh, I think I only need to rinse it. Okay. So, so that's what rinse means. It just means to, to wash it with water only, no soap, no cloth, nothing. Now, if it's really dirty, then you could scrub it, right? That's what scrub means. You take the cloth and you you scrub. You know, maybe if you if you baked some, if you baked a cake or something, and the the pan is uh, is really dirty. There's stuff like stuck onto the pan. Well, then maybe you need to scrub the the pan clean, right? Um, but for rinsing, you just you just run some water over it. Now, the phrasal verb is to rinse off, right? Remember I said I need to rinse it off. But you don't need to use the phrasal verb. You could, you could tell me, uh, hey Mark, just give it a quick rinse. Just give it a quick rinse. That's all it needs, that'll be fine. You know, it, it's, it's probably fine. Just give it a quick rinse. A quick rinse, okay? So then I come here, I'll just do that. All right, good as new. Right now I can eat my can eat my lunch. So I just wanted to teach you guys that phrasal verb. You know, I think one of the differences between between intermediate English learners and advanced English learners is that advanced English speakers use more specific vocabulary. Right? There might be like a general word you could use like wash, right? You could use wash in this situation. But advanced speakers know the more specific word, and, and the more specific, the better word to use here is just to rinse, to rinse off. So I just wanted to teach that to you guys. That's what I try to do here in my vocabulary series on my YouTube channel. It's just to teach you, you know, a little bit more specific vocabulary so you can take your English to the next level. Hey, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are. I'm having a wonderful day here. I'm doing a trip across Canada. Right now I'm in Ontario, and uh, I'll see you guys over in the next lesson.